Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. After five months, I am finally back. <laughs> And I'm here to show you how to make this preppy looking detailed Christmas outfit and it's perfect because it's that time of the season again. Happy Christmas! It's Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Chrysler! And I approve. I'm so excited. I actually just went Black Friday shopping. And I will be making more videos like this because I have more outfits I want to show you guys how to make for the Christmas season. So yeah! Stay tuned for that and yeah, let's get on with the video. Step one, we're going to make sure we have the Christmas light template. And what I mean by that is like the red and green little lights on the template. So it's better to locate like where different parts are on the body. So I will link that in the description down below. Once you have it, we are going to create a new layer by clicking layer, new layer, and move it underneath everything. We are then going to select white as our color base because that's like easier to see on our template. And we are going to start off by making the outline of the tank. So I would go to shape and then make sure you're on draw, go to bezier and make sure the size is on two. We are going to zoom in and we're going to start in the torso area. On the left side of our box here, we are going to click where the black is right here, making a line going like towards the right side, like so. Let go and create kind of a dip here. Once that is finished, we are going to click where that line ends and then drag it all the way into the middle, kind of making a more of a steep line here. Let go and kind of create more of a upward arch. Once that is finished, I personally don't like where it's at right now, so I'm going to go to the arrange tool and I'm just going to move it over by clicking and dragging. I'm now going to go to the select tool and I'm going to select everything that's out of like the black box. Um, as you can see, I don't really have much, but to delete it, you're just going to click backspace on your keyboard. We're going to click anywhere, and now we're only going to select the right half of the torso. As you can tell, there's a little bit of the outline in the box, which we are going to delete by clicking backspace on our keyboard. Click anywhere, go to the arrange tool, click duplicate, and then flip horizontal. We are going to move that onto the other side here, and we are going to click Control 6 on our keyboard to merge the layer. Once that is finished, if you don't like where it's placed, you can easily make sure you're on the Arrange tool, and you can easily just move it to wherever you want. Now we are quickly going to make the bottom of the tank top, so go to Shape, make sure you're on Draw, and you could either use the Line tool or the Bezier tool. Since I want kind of like a dip line effect, I'm going to use the Bezier tool. I'm going to click where the middle Christmas lights are and I'm just going to click and drag onto the other side here, let go and make kind of a dipped line. I'm now going to connect the tank top to each side of the torso and to do that you just click where it ends off and then add it to the other side. Once that is finished we are going to create a new layer and then we are going to start making the straps. I suggest clicking off where the top of the tank top ends and make a line going upwards. If you want, you can make it diagonal or straight, it doesn't matter. And then you're going to go to the top of the torso and just click and then drag going to the top there. After that, we're going to go back to arrange. We're going to click duplicate, flip horizontal, and just put it to the other side here. Once that is finished, we are going to click Control 6 on our keyboard just to merge the layer. We're going to zoom into the top of the torso, go to the Select tool, and select only what's in the black rectangle. Click Control C on your keyboard to copy, click anywhere, zoom out, and then click Control V on your keyboard to paste. Go to the arrange tool and just add it to the other side. To check if it's aligned properly, you can go to the select tool and then select only what's between the strap and the pair of Christmas lights here and then put it onto the other side to see if it matches up. So click anywhere to unselect, go to arrange, and we're now going to merge every single outline layer here. And so just click control 6 on your keyboard. So now we're going to add some color. We're going to add a layer 
move that underneath the outline layer and then you're going to want to choose your color i'm just choosing red and once you have your color you're going to want to fill in the tank top i suggest using the brush tool and you can play around with the size click and then drag making the brush work If you accidentally got any red outside of the tank top layer, you can easily use the erase tool and just clean up the edges. Once you're finished that, we are going to change the color of the outline. So make sure you're on the outline layer. And then we're going to go to adjustments, color lookup, and then just click this little raindrop thing. Click and then drag to the other side. And if you don't like how it looks, you can easily go to adjustments, go to brightness and contrast, and play with it so once the easy part is finished we are now going to shade and so to do that we're going to add another layer we are going to make sure that's underneath the outline layer only and we are going to select a darker red if you're not using red you're going to want to just pick a like a darker color of whatever color you used and we are going to start off by making like the indent for the like breast area Okay, did she seriously just say that? So, um, go to the shape tool and we're going to go to Bezier. And so we're going to start off by clicking like in the middle of the tank top here. Click and then drag to one of the sides here. Let go and then kind of create like a dipped line. Once that is finished, go to arrange, go to duplicate, flip horizontal, move the layer on top of the outline layer and just move it to the other side. Now you're going to move that layer back underneath the outline layer, and then we're going to merge both of the layers. So just click Control-6 on your keyboard. Once that is finished, we are going to go to Filter, Details, Blur, and just choose the amount of blur that you want. And I'm going to go to the three dots on the layer and just play around with the transparency. Once that is finished, we are going to create another layer on top of that layer, and we're going to go to the little pen tool, make sure the variant is on sketchy size one and just follow all these terms here you're going to select a darker color and you're kind of going to mimic what you just made click and then drag making these weird lines like so just underneath the breast area if you want to put some on top as well you can do that too Afterwards, we're going to click Filter, Details, and Blur. You're just going to want to blur that out. I think four looks pretty good. Go to the three dots and then just play around with that. Now we're going to use the same pen tool. We're going to add a layer and we're just going to make like little different lines on the tank top. Click and then drag making these little lines. Once that is finished, we are going to repeat the process, go to Filter, Details, and Blur, and just blur that out. Click Apply and go to the three dots again, and just play around with the transparency. So I'm now going to add another layer, and I'm just going to keep playing around with it, adding little lines and then blurring them. Once you're finished with the dark lines, we are then going to begin by adding another layer. Select white, and you're just going to basically mimic the lines that you just made. So just basically go near the lines and just recreate them on top of each other, basically. Please remember if lines are going out of the tank top, make sure to erase them immediately. So once you have those lines created, we're going to click the three dots on the layer, go to blend mode, and then choose overlay, and then play around with the transparency again. To add some shininess on the little breast area, we're going to add a layer again. We are going to make sure we're still in the pen tool. Make sure you're still in the color white and just color on top here, kind of making U shapes. And you can also add some on the top here, making it come out a little bit. Same thing on the other side here. So we're going to go to filter, details, 
blur just blur that out click apply and then click the three dots and then play around with that as well and once you're finished that we are going to open a new tab on our computer and search up fabric texture go to images and then choose one that you think looks nice i'm gonna go with this we are going to copy that go back to pixlr and we're going to paste that by clicking Control v on our keyboard and you're going to make sure it's the top layer we are going to go to the range tool and just play around with these small little squares click and then drag playing around with the size you are going to cover the whole tank top like with this texture Once you have that covered, you are going to click Control 6 on your keyboard twice, merging this to be like a whole layer. You are going to move that layer underneath the outline of the tank top, and you are going to use the eraser tool to delete everything that's out of the tank top. Once you have it covered in the tank top, we are going to click the three dots on the layer and choose overlay. We are going to change the transparency to however you want. Once that is finished, we are going to pick out a bow to add in the middle. So open up like a new tab and then search up bow PNG. Go to images and then choose the one that like really speaks to you. Once you have the one you're going to copy and then paste it into Pixlr, make it smaller and then we're going to go to the little pixie wand here and then click the background of the bow. Click backspace on your keyboard and then just do the same thing for the rest. Go to the range tool, click anywhere, go to the range tool now and then make it a smaller size. Select a color here and then just choose a color that you want. You're just going to go to adjustments, color lookup, click the little raindrop thing again, and then drag it to the other side. Click apply, and then use the range tool to make it the size you want. And then we're going to add more detail to the bow. So we're going to go to filter, inner glow, and then we're going to choose a darker white if you're using white. And if you're using a different color, just select a darker color. <laughs> Make sure the size is like one, I'd say, and you would make the opac opacity a little less. So once we have the tank top made, we are going to make the pajama shorts. And to do that, we're going to add a new layer and we're going to move it underneath like the template layer. So it's basically like on top of everything. And we're going to go to the shape tool again, make sure you're on draw, make sure you're on B0 and make sure the size is on two. We're gonna zoom in. And just leaving some space in between the tank top and the shorts, we are going to click the black line here, click and then drag to the other side, let go and then create a dip line if you would like. We are going to connect that line on each side of the torso. We are then going to go back to the shape tool, make sure you're on all these steps here. Now we're going to zoom in into one of the legs here. We're going to select the line tool and since we're making shorts, I'm going to start close up here. So I'm going to click the black line, drag it to the other side, kind of making a di diagonal line. Let go and then we're going to go to arrange. We're going to go to select, select that, control C to copy on your keyboard, click anywhere and then click control V on your keyboard to paste, go to arrange flip horizontal and then put that one onto the other side there. You are going to merge the layers, so click Control 6 on your keyboard. And now we're going to go back to the shape tool and just connect each line. Once that is finished, we are going to pull up Pinterest.com to find our texture. I will link my account in the description down below because as you can see, I have a tab here just for Christmas textures. So this is super helpful to find like your pajama texture. So once you're here, just pick the one that you want to use. So once you have the one that you want to use, you're going to copy that. You're going to go back to Pixlr and just click Control V on your keyboard to paste. 
go to the arrange tool and just make it the size you want. I suggest moving the layer on top of the background layer just to make things easier. And you're basically going to fill in the skirt outline with this texture. And now we're going to use the select tool and then delete like everything that's coming out on the bottom here. Click backspace on your keyboard, click anywhere, go to the arrange tool, click duplicate, flip horizontal, and then just put that onto the other side. We are going to merge both layers, and to do that, you're going to click Control 6 on your keyboard, click duplicate, and then just put it onto the other side of the front of the torso area. Once that is finished, you are going to want to merge all the texture layers into one big layer. Now we are going to move that layer underneath the outline of the shorts layer. And then we're going to go to the select tool again and select only what's in the front of the skirt area. Click Control C on your keyboard, click anywhere, click Control V on your keyboard to paste, go to arrange, and we're going to move that on top of the outline of the shorts layer and then just fill in the bottom, matching it up perfectly. I'm now going to merge the texture layers again, so just click Control 6 on your keyboard, and then you're going to move back that layer underneath the outline layer, and you're just going to merge those layers as well, so it's one big layer. We are going to remove that layer on top of the outline layer, and we're going to repeat the process by going to the select tool and only selecting what's on the left side of the front of the shorts. So as you can see, it stopped right at the red light and that's good. You're going to click control C on your keyboard, click anywhere, go to arrange, paste that, and then just put it where it should be in the box here. And then you're going to click duplicate, then you're going to put that onto the other side here. You're going to merge all the texture layers into one big layer again. You're going to go to the select tool, and then only select what's on the right half now. Click Control C on your keyboard to copy, click anywhere, paste it, go to arrange, and then repeat that process on the other side. We are now going to merge every single texture layer. Once that is finished, we are going to move that whole layer underneath the outline layer again. And now we're going to click the three dots and then turn down the transparency so you can see the actual outline better. And now we're going to use the eraser tool to clean up the edges. So everything that's coming out of the outline, you're going to take off. Once that is finished, you're going to go back to the three dots and then make the transparency high again. If you have a different color of texture, you are going to want to click the outline of the shorts and you're going to want to select the most common color on your little texture. So mine is clearly white and you would go to adjustments, color lookup, move that raindrop to the other side, making the outline the main color. So now we're also going to make a bow for the shorts here. So we're going to search up bow PNG again. Once you have the bow you want, just copy that, then paste it into Pixlr, move that layer on top of everything, go to the pixie wand, and then click the background. If, the, if it's only selecting half of it, you can change the tolerance up here, and then click anywhere, and then click back the background and start deleting. Go to the select tool, click anywhere, go to a range, and now we are going to select the color that we want the bow to be this time. And so I'm going to go with a red. I'm going to click OK, go to adjustments, color lookup, and then move that raindrop to the other side. Click apply, and just make that smaller. And then put it like in front of the shorts. To add more detail to that one, we are also going to go to Filter, Inner Glow, and then we're going to select a different color of what that bow is. Make the size 1, 
and then train change the opacity click apply and we'll bam once you have that created to upload it to roblox you're going to want to click this little visible button here and then go to file save and then name it whatever you want making sure it's on png and then voila just upload it to roblox thank you guys so so much for watching and i'm glad for those of you who actually tried this and succeeded at it i'm so proud of you and merry early christmas i love you guys so so much bye